Welcome to the lecture. Today we are going to deal with these topics little fast but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always I'll be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to this channel My Lean University which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In this lecture, we will study about estimation of the time and three point estimate is also used in the estimation of the cost. So basically it is used for the cost and time estimation and three point estimates are one of the popular questions. If you are a student of project management, if you are trying to give an exam of project management professionals or the PMP examination, similarly it is also quite popular in the operational management in the estimation of the cost and time. There are basically two kinds of uh, three point estimates, which are the triangular estimates and the beta distribution. Beta distribution is also called the port PERT port analysis. So, let us study the three point estimate in detail. Three point estimates helps to cover the uncertainty in projects. This is generally true if you are in a new project where you do not have any historical data. So, if you do not have any kind of historical data, you have to predict what's the most likely and what's the least likely or what's the optimistic and pessimistic scenario of prediction. So, in that case, we can use the three point estimate because generally in a new project where you do not have the historical data, there is uncertainty in the estimation of the time required for the completion of the project or the cost involved in various stages of the project or the overall cost of the project. So, three point estimates helps to cover the uncertainty in the projects. As I already told, these are also called the triangular distribution and they help to make the estimation of the time and cost. So, generally, if you are asked what is three point estimate used for, you should say they are generally used for the estimation of the time and cost. And basically, this triangular distribution which is a kind of three point estimate breaks down the data into three estimate parts that is most likely these are the most optimistic time or cost estimation based on the calculated resources so what does this mean this simply means that this is the most likely happening scenario that means the prediction that is most likely going to happen but one condition is in order to predict that something is most likely to happen there should be a good availability of the resources and there should be a pre-plan. The other scenario is the optimistic scenario which is based on the waste scenario. That means suppose if there is no problem with any manpower or machines or if there are not any risk factors involved in the project then that is the optimistic scenario and is also called the waste scenario. So we also predict time and cost based on the optimistic scenario. The other is the pessimistic scenario based on the worst case scenario of an activity. That means there might be one or many problems in the project. We estimate that there might be one or many problems. So we estimate the pessimistic time or pessimistic cost if the worst case scenario happens. As I already told, we use the triangular distribution when there is insufficient historical data so that we have to bring our own judgmental data. The formula of the three point estimate and in this case, the triangular distribution, as I already told you, there are two kinds of three point estimates. One is triangular estimate and the other one is the pot estimate. And the triangular estimate, the formula is, it is the average of the optimistic time, most likely time and the pessimistic time. So we simply add up these three terms and divide it by three. And here, T is the expected time. TO is the optimistic time and TM is the most realistic time. And as I told you, if we are estimating the cost, this TE, TO, TM can be replaced by the CE, CO and CM denoting expected cost, optimistic cost and the most realistic cost. In the next lecture, we will study about the port analysis. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, 
operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, agile and scrum, kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership and remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.